Welcome to Ultimate Mar Bros. Alrighty guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Ultimate Mar Bros. I'm your host, Ultimate Mar, and today we're playing Ratchet and Clank Future, a crack in time. How are you all doing today? I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Why would someone build something like that, honestly? Uh, anyways, it's July 5th. I hope you're all having a wonderful time. I hope your 4th of July was great. I hope you were able to spend time with your friends, your family, your loved ones. And I hope none of you got hurt, arrested. I hope nothing bad happened to any of my viewers or anybody else out there. I, I well and truly hope all of you were fine, were able to have a good time, and I wish you all the best. I well and truly do. But with that said, I do want to say to scam artists, I hate you. Let me focus on this. The smart bomb. Power up on this. Okay. I actually gotta focus on this. Sorry. I know with the pandemic that's been happening, that people have lost their jobs, I'm one of them, and I know things are very crazy right now. I want you all who are out there looking for a job like I am to be careful about what jobs you apply for and what jobs you accept. And what I mean by that is I was just on the phone for like two days with a job. I'm just trying to see what everything is. online job and it sounded too good to be true in all honesty. And after doing all of the interview and everything online, well on the phone, Ooh, wow, that was just time. I was looking up the program that I need to do the job and everything. And the very first thing that came up was, it's a scam. Don't do, don't fall for it, don't give me your information. Luckily, I didn't give him any bank account information or anything like that, but... I still gave him where I lived and my phone number, but I blocked the numbers and everything. But I 
want you up. If you apply for jobs and all that, please, I beg you. What is over here? Oh, cool. So please, be careful with what jobs you're applying for. Make sure you know the company that you're applying for. And check with the BBB, the better, Bu the better business bureau, to find out more about the company. Uh, that way, you can know for a fact whether it's a scam or not. Because you don't want. something to go wrong and find out that you've been scammed out of a lot of money. I, I do not want that to happen to any of my fans or followers. I wish for you all the best and I will and truly hope that none of you had to suffer being scammed. Uh, and for my own personal experiences, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about possible jobs that may well in fact be scams that I found out that were scams. I don't remember the name of the company or any of that information. Uh, but I will explain to you all how you can know that you're being scammed. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I like that one. Come here. Come here. Now we're talking. Each of the three jobs that I've applied for that said that to me turned out to be scams. So please be careful. If you feel like a job that, that you've been offered is too good to be true, it's probably because it is too good to be true. And I didn't even see that one. I thought I killed it. It's still the end of time. Now we're talking, baby. Temporal recording initiated. And so, yeah, be very, very careful about any job you apply for. Especially if they don't call you and just send you a text about the job, that's almost guaranteed to be a uh, sign that that's a scam. Again, the... Here you go, sir. 
again, the three jobs that I applied for, or that I received messages for, saying that I got the job, and we're all online. Yeah. They all, they never called me. They only sent me texts saying that I got the job and not calling me or talking to me or even Zoom me. I don't know what the hell a Telegram app is. Hold on, sir. I'll get the door. I've never heard of that app before until a couple days ago. So, again, I really hope you all I, I really do hope you all are safe and really paying attention to what kind of job you're applying for. Ah, hold on. Let me... I think I've got it. Okay, let me try this again. I'm just trying to understand. Okay. This one's actually a deep. Okay. again. job that you are that you know for a fact isn't a scam now I know that's kind of difficult but because you never know for a fact whether or not a job you're going to apply for is a scam or not but you just gotta do your research on whatever job that might come your way find out whether or not it really is or isn't a scam. Because I've almost been scammed a couple of times during this pandemic. Luckily I was not stupid enough to give up my bank information. Actually, you know what? Here's a piece of advice. Uh, whatever job that you apply for, at least for right now during this pandemic, if you're not sure whether it's a scan job or not, obviously don't give them your bank information and see if they will send you checks via mail 
actual work instead of your bank information. And once you find out whether or not the checks are real or fake, then that's when you can decide if you want to get direct deposit or not. This is just my own personal experience. about scans that with everything going on with the pandemic and trying to find a job it, it's not easy I know that I want to go back to work but I keep getting scam jobs that are online <laughs> that 
I don't fully trust. So, if you guys feel like while you're in the conversation uh, through text and stuff that something isn't right, listen to that gut and make sure you don't give them anything too important like your social security or your bank card for the love of god don't do it uh wait until you find out more about the company and learn about them because if something happens it's too late and i don't want that to happen to any of you so please be safe be careful with well your information please and I wish you all the best and oh what is that company that protects your identity I don't know what it is but if you want me to make a speak about your company pay me I will be more than happy to shout out for that anything that protects people's privacy like NordVPN and other things I would be I would love to make videos about that all right, guys, I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you all tomorrow, or for me in 10 seconds. Bye.